This past winter was pretty harsh on a lot of our trees and shrubs. Many of them had to be thinned out. Some of them actually had to come down. Now, what do you do with all that debris? Well, we could take it to the transfer station, or you can become creative. My husband built this arbor for me. It's very rustic, but oh, how fun it is. I'm going to have a beautiful clematis growing over it, and I tell you, it is just absolutely great. Eventually, all these pine needles will drop off of it, but it'll give kind of this nice little woodsy feel to it. It. We did the same thing a couple of years ago between our neighbor's yards to be able to welcome our neighbors into our garden without having to go clear down to the street and walk back up. Again, a beautiful arbor. There's a rose climbing on one side and eventually a clematis on the other. A great way to use all those twigs. What about trees that may have had to come down? A couple of years ago, we had to take this maple down, but instead of taking the maple completely to the ground, we left the trunk, put a great big bowl on top of it and stabilized it, and soon it'll be just dripping with flowers. Very kind of pretty accent really to this part of the garden. And of course this, see where the birdhouse is growing? This is on top of a little cherry that had to also come down. But again, instead of taking the trunk to the ground, we just placed the birdhouse on top. A clematis will soon be growing up around the base of that plant. And the birdhouse is in full use. Look at this trunk that's leaning. This happened to be an old Alberta spruce. And of course it was filled with mites and all kinds of things. Wrong place. We cut it out. It is just dripping with wave petunias. Don't cut all those trunks down. Use them as bases for your planters and use those twigs as beautiful garden art. I'm Phyllis Stevens and that's our great garden tip.